quite he remained proud of his humble mountain heritage early in his career he proved time and again that he could overcome the odds and almost achieve the impossible from his two midwestern stock car arca titles in the late 60s to his nascar cup series championship in 1973 his rags to riches story truly epitomized what southern stock car racing was all about in 1975, his refuse to lose attitude put him in position to capture the biggest race of all, the Daytona 500. What a day this is gonna be for many. Has now won the biggest of them all, the Daytona 500. Following his retirement as a driver in 1988, he became an award-winning television journalist for ESPN, ABC, and most recently, NBC and Turner. While working for ESPN in 1989, he was honored by his peers with the Award for Cable Excellence. And then in 1996, garnered an Emmy for his uniquely Benny approach to racing analysis. Whether standing in his beloved backwoods of North Carolina or sitting in the grand ballroom of the Waldorf Astoria, Benny Parsons was the same. He was always proud of the fact that he never forgot where he came from and that he really never met a stranger. Through the years, his personality made us laugh, and his life stories made us dream. But now his loss makes us all want to cry. Racing has lost a champion, and millions of race fans have lost a cherished friend and hero. From 1971 through 1985, Benny Parsons was one of the more consistent drivers in the Cup Series. His 243 top 10 finishes over that span is third, only behind Richard Petty and Bobby Allison. And in nearly three quarters of those finishes, he was in the top five. Parsons had 21 career wins, 199 career top five finishes. Tuesday, the racing world reflected back on those accomplishments and the person they were accomplished by. Any and know that, uh, know that, that um, we had we had a good uh, good time together over the years. Winston Cup championship to his credit. I mean, that's a huge accomplishment. But mainly, I mean, Benny was. Uh, if you talk to people in the garage area, he would have been one of the the good guys. He was always big about coming and telling you how great things are going to be, and so I was always looking for him. And I've been looking for him a lot lately, and I'm sure we're all going to miss him. I don't know of anybody that, that didn't like Benny Parsons. Um, and he was a great guy, great competitor, but always had the, the knack of looking like things didn't really get to him too much. You know, and I think things bothered him like it did everybody else, but he always had a cool way of not, not showing it. Best thing about Benny is he's always happy. You know, even last time I seen him, he was at Homestead and he had this, uh, you know, girl carrying his oxygen bottle and he's in the garage and uh, just happy as could be. You knew he didn't feel good, but he was still, uh, you know, came down to see everybody and wish him luck and, and hang out in the garage because that's where he loved to be. And this from Jeff Gordon, quote, I am extremely saddened after hearing the news this morning. Benny was a special person, and anyone who came in contact with him knew it. He was one of the most genuine and generous individuals I've ever met. He was a great race car driver, broadcaster, and friend. I will miss him very much. The racing. I don't recall ever seeing anybody mad at Benny Parsons for something that happened on the racetrack. He was just a, he was a sweet man. Uh, he was a kind guy and uh, a great driver. I mean, just because he had that, that pleasant, easygoing uh, personality, uh, he, he, could, he could let it all hang out on the racetrack as well. This from NASCAR Chairman Brian France. Benny Parsons was a true champion, both on the racetrack and in life. Benny loved our sport and the people that make it up, and those people loved him. He will be rem remembered as being a great ambassador for the sport. Benny Parsons, born in 1941 and first raised in a North Carolina home that had no running water or electricity. He went a long way from there. Parsons dead at the age of 65.